YouTube, Evan Starr here, and we're going to be talking about another game. We're going to preview another game for the Play It Painted series, and that game uses a lot of these. So if you know what these are, you're going to know what game I'm talking about. Uh, these are actually action tokens for a game that's been out for a while. It's a game that you, if you're a veteran of the uh, miniature gaming scene and you've gone to your hobby store, you've probably seen and you might even see it on YouTube, and that game is Anima Tactics. Now, Anima Tactics has been covered on YouTube. Uh, it has been reviewed before. But Anima Tactics, at least in our area, has not really received much of a reception as a game. Now, if your area is any place like my area, you've probably come into a store seen these really great looking models for Anima Tactics, uh, not known anything about how to play it, where to play it, how to find a rule book, or how to actually select the models to uh, build a party to play it, and that probably deterred you from trying it out. That along with maybe some mixed reviews online. And I'm here to tell you there's a lot to consider when you are going into Anima Tactics. One thing you don't consider though, or one thing that's an automatic plus, at least in my opinion, is the quality of the art. And, and the high quality of the sculpts. So the first thing that probably drew you over to looking at Anima Tactics was artwork. The artwork is fantastic in this game. And you can see this is in the rule book. The artwork is just brilliant. That artwork, that theme, that sort of anime, steampunk, high fantasy setting probably drew you in. I mean, look at this rule book. It, this is a rule book I would buy even if I wasn't playing the game. And that's what kind of dragged me into Anima Tactics was I looked at the miniatures and said, okay, I would buy that and paint that even if I wasn't playing the game. And I know a lot of folks actually are doing that. And that's fine. Maybe they don't care for the game. Maybe they don't want to know or want to play another miniatures game. Uh, maybe they're just really into painting the miniatures. And that's absolutely fine. These are high quality miniatures. And they're fantastic. And the game has gotten some mixed reviews. I'd like to, in possibly another video, explain my opinions on why uh, Anima Tactics uh, hit North America with mixed reviews and doesn't see a lot of press here uh, in the US although you know like I said there are some videos on YouTube that you can watch that uh, explain a little bit about anima tactics and that's great um, but I, I decided that I love the miniatures so much that I was gonna paint them anyway and if I happen to be uh, okay with the game I'd probably pick up and play the game well guess what I'm here to say uh, I think the game is pretty good um, it's not the best system I ever played, but it's definitely not the worst system I've ever played. And I had fun. And really, that's all that matters. And, and uh, the modeling and painting aspect of the game should not be discounted. It's probably one of the big reasons why people play a lot of these games. So, Anima Tactics, uh, Skirmish Game. I I'll give you the rundown of, of the game and why I think it's so difficult to choose... Um, what models to start with and how to start playing and so forth. But for now, let's just skip that. I just wanted to show up some artwork here and uh, I'll show you a few minis here. Okay, so here are some of the models that I've painted so far for Anima Tactics and uh, I've got the light starter and the dark starter here. Uh, Kind of some of them are off camera or whatever. But yeah, um, I love these miniatures. They're just fantastic. And <clears throat> I can't wait to paint more. And I've been painting so many recently. Let's see if... Uh, oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, so close. Um, I've been painting so, mo so many and just trying to, to stop myself from painting them because um, it's a challenge. I love painting these miniatures. They're fantastic. I can't really say enough about how much I've enjoyed 
working with these models. They're just beautiful. Anyway, um, so we've been playing this with our group. Uh, we like the game enough to continue playing it. We love the model so much that we're just going to continue painting it as well. And uh, we're going to be covering some of this uh, on this channel, but a lot on Billy's new channel, Will Salad. So please check out Billy's channel. I'll put a link in the uh, description here uh, for this video. Uh, Billy's going to cover some anima tactics for us and uh, some of our gaming and some of our convention stuff. So with this whole anima tactics uh, thing, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, our FLGS, the Monstor again, who did something really cool in that uh, they found out, hey, you know, we're, we're not playing Malfo anymore, but we are playing this Anima Tactics game. And what they decided to do for us at Monstor uh, was actually give us, or give me, one of these uh, starters. Uh, not the box starters, but the demo starters that uh, I guess they put together for stores that carry Anima Tactics. So uh, my goal for this week is actually to be working on uh, this starter set, which is six models. They're fantastic models, you guys. Um, so I'll be painting those up uh, with the intention of running uh, these demos at Strategicon. So that's our preview for Anima Tactics. Uh, I am definitely going to be filming more videos about how to get into Anima Tactics, how to play Anima Tactics, and obviously you can catch a lot of the action over on Billy's channel, Will Salaz. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and can't wait to show you more of this game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.